Good morning guys. So we're looking at Victorinox camper here. Let's go and take a look at the, uh, the tools that it has. It's a very small thing as you can see, pocket size. It's about 91 millimeters long. Uh, the blade itself, very small. I can't remember the exact uh, size of it, but I'm gonna post it in the description below. So the main blade, about I suppose six centimeters long, uh, under three inches, which makes it UK legal carry. And this is a tiny little bait. So before I got this knife, I thought, why would you have two blades on one multi-tool or one knife? It just, uh, I thought it was a waste of space. But now, I actually think it's a good choice because uh, this is my main go-to blade. It gets dull quite often because I carry this knife every day and I use it for like things like sharpening pencils uh, or uh, even processing small pieces of wood at times. And this stuff, what is it for? Basically, um, those little branches here will be acting as stoppers on my experimental microcosms, which are something like this. And we'll have a little tile hanging down from these, which will be colonized by... It, it won't be this though, because this is a little too narrow. Well, yeah, it will be... Uh, too wide. Yeah. It will be these glass beakers and it will be hanging down here from the top and basically be colonized by bacteria. And it gets dull pretty quickly because the steel on this is not very, it's not great, let's just say. It's decent, but uh, yeah, I've seen better. So, this is just uh, basically, as I say, the main blade that I use all the time. And uh, and this I just save as my backup blade when I need something really sharp. I don't use it very often and I keep it for, as I say, for those occasions where I actually need something really sharp. And uh, maybe not particularly that big, but that's the job. So you have your regular things such as the corkscrew and uh, this you will probably have to buy separately. I remember I ordered this separately, this little screwdriver. And the, there is a tiny little pin compartment here as well. The pin doesn't come with it. It didn't, in my case at least, with the knife. So, but it takes all pins, basically. It doesn't have to be the Victorinox, which is, you know, overpriced. But uh, it's a bit thicker, so I suppose you may want to get one. It's not that expensive, but for a pin it's just too much money. Got your awl with the rimmer as well. Don't use it that often, but it's a nice option if you have to clean something out, like carve a little hole. And uh, your can opener. And this is the uh, Phillips screwdriver. It's not the dedicated one, but it does the job. Damiano is such a genius, he obviously forgot to ask about the new key. So he's provided me with a great opportunity to use my EDC again. That's also him. And that's how we get in the borehole. Without keys. This I don't use it that often because I just don't come across, uh, you know, cans that need to be opened this way anymore. It's a good feature to have sometimes for prying things like batteries, prying batteries out. You don't want to use your fingernails, you can break them. So obviously you won't be prying doors out with this, but small things. 
comes in handy and your flat screwdriver uh, the uh, wire stripper here and a bottle opener good stuff okay so apart from all these you have something that not many people will actually consider necessary but for me a saw is a really good choice yeah maybe because what I do for a living and also not just for a living as a hobby I use a wood saw all the time cutting little pieces of wood and this is actually pretty fast As I say, these don't really take an amazing edge, but for a utility knife, everyday use, yeah, I suppose they're more, more concerned about their blades being stainless than, uh, you know, super hard and super sharp. And I suppose even for something like this relatively thick rope, does the job without any problems. Even the smaller blade should be able to cut it. Yeah. Easily. So apart from those features that I've talked about, you have the standard ones that come with, as far as I know, all Victorinox uh, knives, which is the, your tweezers, quite useful little thing. Pulling out uh, splinters and stuff, and the pin, I use the pin for that as well. And the toothpick, which is, I use it a lot. Um, as far as carving wood goes, I mean, I do it quite a lot. It's not gonna be, you know, crazy strong. And you have to be careful with this because it will go wobbly, it will go a little... It is flimsy, you know, for, for things like this piece of wood is probably as, as big as it takes to... Uh, it may be a little bit too big for this knife already. So... Well, as I say, this is my city, everyday carry city EDC and uh, don't really cut pieces of wood bigger than this uh, in the city on a daily basis. Right, so there's one more cool little feature that this knife uh, comes with. Actually, it's probably not an intended feature, but I just discovered it, that the spine of the uh, of the saw is really sharp and even though it doesn't lock because you can't have a locking knife legally walk around with a locking knife in the UK even though it doesn't lock it's still stiff enough that you can get some sparks going from it and you can start a fire obviously you have to be careful with this because it may actually close on your fingers so Thank you guys for joining me for this short review. Please click share, like and subscribe. Um, this has been Simon from Simon's Discoveries. See you guys in another video.